I'm sorry. I think your things are in my seat. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, come on. You've got to be kidding me. Excuse me, ma'am. I need to sit somewhere else. We used to be married. Worst 19 years of my life. We were only married for five. I'm counting the recovery. You're obviously working with two of the most experienced, of course, the biggest acting movie yes. stars of all time. Yes. And of course, a lot has been made of the fact that they haven't done romantic comedies for years. And in, in George's case, you know, decades. Did it feel like there were some cobwebs that had to be shaken off? In no way at all. They showed up ready to play and they played from day one. I actually wish there's a scene where they kiss on the uh, uh, overlooking the sea. And I think that was day two of the movie because it was going to be a beautiful day. So we scheduled it right at the beginning. And I think with any other actors, any other couple, you certainly wouldn't schedule a big moment like that anywhere near that early in the shoot. You know what I mean? You yeah. take time to get to know each other and to bond and to feel comfortable and get that chemistry. But so with those guys, you could just go, yeah, fine, day two will be fine. <laughs> so um, no, they were just all in from the very first, from the beginning. They just got into the group. They just got, yeah, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah well-oiled machine. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of well-oiled machine and getting into the group, how, how much of the beer pong scene mm -hmm. is really them? How much of that is the magic of editing. I see two. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's all them. They went for it. They, I mean, this is, we, was a, we, we did it in about two hours. You shoot really fast. You have lots of cameras. You get ready, and then they, you know, because they don't have that much, that many takes in them. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And then so we, they had the tracks. We talked about various different moves that they might try, and sent them the three tracks that we we're going to use. Can we get something a little more age appropriate for these two? Something old school. Focus, really good. Get ready, and... Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. And then you just go, go for it, wind them up, and they were... And the kids opposite, the other side of the table, were stunned by their level of commitment and joy. And then they're genuinely trying to make each other laugh as yeah. well, and when they do, the laughter is genuine, because it was a ludicrously fun. Night. I was about to say that you could feel that. There was like a, yeah, a moment yeah. where George was suddenly laughing. Yeah, no, which is, I gave George a note, he did yeah. a thing, he does a bit, and it makes Julia laugh, and her laughter makes him laugh, and that's a totally real. And it's amazing with George, because obviously we've seen them both on screen so many times, and we sort of know what they can do, and you watch, you'd love to see it again and again, but I've never seen George do that. I've never seen him that loose on screen. No. So that was a real, that's a really happy moment that was for me. a pleasure for seeing, yeah. yeah. But I mean, romantic comedies are getting more rare than they used to be. Yeah. And of course, when they're made, they're usually about young lovebirds in their teens or in their twenties, but you've definitely shown also before, you know, with Mamma Mia and also Exotic Marigold Hotel that you wrote, that you have an interest in showing romance through like a more mature lens. And you also do that here. Is that because you feel like that isn't done enough in romantic movies. I don't think it's done enough. I think it's, a, it's an issue at any age. The issues are different. The way that you go about it is different. You can't have the same level of kind of misunderstandings and does she fancy me and why hasn't he called? You know, we don't do these things past a certain age, you know what I mean? But so if you find the, find the bit, find the trope. In Marigold Hotel, it's about whether they can refind that part of themselves at all. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And in this case, it's, yeah, it's a question whether they, you know, at what age do you commit to a new kind of life? Can you be ready for something else or are you settling into something that you you know when you shouldn't do, do you know what I mean? And actually mm. that's most of the movie is about that, a desire to, and I think the pandemic unlocked that for lots of people, a sense that actually the way that we've been living might not necessarily be right and that maybe we should make more of our own decisions, do you mm. know what I mean? Yeah. And so, um, yeah, any age we're going to have the same issues. Oh no, no, Dad, please stop doing that. Oh my God. I'm praying for an asteroid. Don't show up, don't show up, don't come. 